Holy crap, those waves are huge. We are walking deeper and deeper in. I had a few oh shit moments. I found my first sea urchin. Hello, welcome back. Haven't posted anything for two weeks. Took a little break over the holidays. But I'm back in SF now and I'm feeling pretty energized. It's a long weekend this weekend and we're gonna go on a few adventures but it's Friday and we're gonna go to Lower Heights to get some drinks. We're gonna go to Four Point Brewery just down the block. Yo, Four Point Brewery is really cute. Cheers! Cheers. Yeah. Tropical IPA is so good. Good morning! We are on our way to Half Moon Bay. Cora is driving again. Are you scared? Not yet. No, I'm not scared. I trust you. We're going to Half Moon Bay and we're going to go foraging for sea urchins and uni. We each have our California fishing license and we have all the tools that we got from Lowe's and we're going to a beach near Half Moon Bay. Low tide is going to be at around 3.30 so we're hoping that it'll be easier to forage for these. We've been foraging for about like 45 minutes. No luck so far. But regardless if we can find any or not, it would be a really fun adventure. It's something new and it's something very exciting. We order clam chowder, popcorn shrimp, and a lobster roll. It's gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes. So we're just walking along the beach and it's so nice here. There are a bunch of surfers on the other side of that and so many people fishing here. But right now it's already kind of low tide. Wow. That's a lobster roll. Everything was so good and it's just so chill sitting on the beach and eating lunch. We are here at Maverick Beach and about to go foraging. We have this giant bucket from Lowe's, have a pocket knife. We have gloves here because the sea urchins are kind of sharp. Pliers and screwdriver to also pry off the sea urchins. And what we're wearing, I'm just wearing shorts and hiking boots. What else do you know about sea urchins? We're foraging for sea urchins in tidal pools. And Are we going for purple or red sea urchins? Well, there's really messy like purple sea urchins. They're a bit smaller and also, again, it's not really sea urchin season. We're just here for fun. Here for the experience. There are actually a lot of people just foraging at the different tidal pools and you definitely need a low tide. can't imagine there are high tide, you can't even see any of the tidal pools. We are gonna walk into the tidal pool. It feels a little bit gross. There's a lot of kelp, a lot of random mossy stuff. Holy crap, those waves are huge. They're like what, 20 foot tall? This is so cool, it's actually quite refreshing. This is like Animal Crossing when you go fishing for stuff in the ocean. We are walking deeper and deeper in because I don't think there are any sea urchins here. Coral are so fearless. Just going straight ahead. We've been foraging for about like 45 minutes. No luck so far. I can't believe it. I found my first. Sea urchin. Sea urchin. Oh my god. Uh, this is great. Oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> this took a long time. How was that? Kind of scary but very exhilarating. Yeah, it was very exciting but I had a few oh shit moments with the waves. It knocked over our bucket. We thought we would be stranded on one of the rocks but we made it back. This is our haul. We got five sea urchins. These are purple sea urchins. They were just like sitting on the rocks facing the ocean. So you have 10 seconds in between waves to grab them, pry them out, and then run back on the rocks. The tide was coming back up. The very last one, we're like, I think we've had enough. Now we're gonna head back to San Francisco and we'll show you how we cut them up and eat them. Cora washed the sea urchins. You whack it. Oh, it's so hard. You take two spoons to pry them apart. Ooh, that actually opened really easily. I'm gonna try to scoop around the poop. They smell like farts. They smell pretty bad. <laughs> there are very little meat inside the sea urchins given it's not the peak season, but it's still pretty cool that we were able to extract something to eat.
It's pretty good. Pretty impressed that we forage this ourselves. Today is the last day of our long weekend. We get a last minute reservation up in Hog Island Oyster Company. So we're driving up to Marin to get some oyster and some seafood. And the weather is also really nice. So it's a really beautiful drive up to Hog Island. We're here at Hog Island. We're a little bit early, so we're walking around and then we have our reservation in about 20 minutes. It's quite busy. A lot of people drove all the way out here just for oysters. We got Dungeness crabs, we got a dozen raw oysters, some spot prawns, and a couple of grilled oysters. It's so good, but it's so hard to eat this. It's a all five finger kind of day. We just finished at Hog Island Oysters. It was so good. So good. My favorite was the spot prawns. They were so delicious. And sweet. The Dungeness crabs were so delicious, but definitely a lot of effort. Like it's a full like 10 experience. finger. It's, it's an experience. experience. The sun is going down, we're gonna drive back to San Francisco mm -hmm. and then likely get another dinner. A banh mi maybe. Banh mi ice, ice cream. cream, yep. Um, maybe mochi ice cream. Yeah, or all three. I'll see you in the next video.